Absolutely. Speaking of Pittsburgh, I watched a uh, soon-to-be-released hit motion picture. It's uh, It's got a short title, so I got to keep looking down to make sure I'm saying it correctly. My Life with the Living Dead, the story of John Russo, the man who created flesh-eating zombies. So in case you were wondering, that was his name, and that's what he does. This one, Joe, if you could believe it, is about John Russo, the man who created flesh-eating zombies. Uh, For people who don't know, which I would assume is the majority of people, but I would assume a few people watching this knows who he is. He's the dude who wrote Night of the Living Dead. And uh, he's been letting everybody know that for the last 800 or so years. Uh, Unlike other documentaries about people's lives, uh, John Russo's really the only one who's interviewed. I think there's another one of his buddies or two, but that's about it. It's just him telling his story. Uh, Some of the audio isn't the best, like what you're listening to now. Uh, I feel feel for the guy, because that has to be fucking horrible. You get this time with this dude to, you know, get your main interview, and then the audio isn't great. I'm sure in the editing process, he's like, God damn it. It sucks. So after a while, you get used to it, but it does have to get noted. I'm not a big John Russo fan. I just seen a post on Facebook saying, hey, anybody with a podcast or page want to review a movie? I said, sure. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if I would check this out if uh, if I didn't see that post or whatever. But uh, I don't want to, because, you know, everybody likes different shit. But to me, this guy did a whole bunch of Okay, yeah, and like you made or you helped create Night of the Living Dead. Nobody's taken that away from you. But kind of go on from there. Like he wrote a script for Return of the Living Dead. And I guess they said, yeah, this sucks, but we'll buy it so we can have the Return of the Living Dead name or whatever the fuck. Then Dan O'Bannon redid it and then he did this. Santa Claus movie, which is like, oh yeah, we just kind of made it as a joke so this guy could get some movie making experience. And now, uh, this is gonna like, because if you're just people making movies in your backyard, being at a fucking like a race war level movie, like that's the kind of shit that he's doing now. And it's just all zombie related. Look at me, I'm a zombie. And I guess I didn't even know about this shit. Because Night of the Living Dead, it's okay. Kind of dated and boring. The 90s version, Tom Savini's version, which old John Russo takes a lot of credit for. That shit's fucking awesome. But uh, yeah, you would just think he would be working on something that's not like 20 year olds backyard movies you know what i'm saying yeah i don't i don't know i mean that being said like the documentary was well made and it was edited well and all that like it was interesting learning about the guy it didn't make me say oh i want to check this movie out and check this movie out it made me be like oh yeah that's why i haven't bothered to watch any of this dude's stuff but a well-made documentary if you like the dude then i'm sure you'll dig the documentary and uh uh facebook check out the facebook page uh i wrote it down because i told him that i would check it out or that i would plug it uh the facebook page my life with the living dead and it is coming out soon so if you're interested in that check it out joe any anything with uh john russo do you know the guy you've seen his stuff uh well the guy that directed this uh 
James Lockhart. Uh, I've always called him Jamie. I'm hoping that's his name. Uh, I think that's what everyone calls him. He, uh, I see him every year at our realm because he works uh, the Severin table and he does a lot of work for Severin. He uh, edits like a lot of their special features, a lot of their documentary stuff. I think there's one uh, documentary that did that's just like vampire movies, uh, just like a history of that. And uh, he's a real good guy. He's a real, real nice guy. Uh, John Russo is also there at this show, and he's never somebody I really had a reason to meet. Um, he wrote some Night of the Living Dead graphic novels for Avatar, I think, had the property at one time. Uh, Marvel had it at one time, too, I think. So maybe he didn't work for them to uh i read one of them really wasn't impressed with it at all uh i think he did a movie called midnight or wrote a movie called midnight which i've never seen that uh, sounds familiar yeah because because then him and his gang of youngsters they remade it in someone's backyard <laughs> that's odd um yeah, I, I guess there's a lot of uh, horror folk that like that one. It, it got like a release. Maybe Severin released it. I'm not sure. Uh, a few years back. But but other than that, I don't, you know, I didn't have a chance to watch this. Uh, I will, you know, because I'm sure Jamie's going to ask me about it. <laughs> so I got to watch it before then. But, uh, you know, I'm hoping it's good. I'm glad you're saying that it's directed well and that it's put together well because, you know. You always want to see people you know when they make stuff that, you know, that there's something good to say about it. Now that you're saying he's a special features dude, it mm -hmm. does feel like that. Yeah. And when I was watching it, like, I had a weird feeling. I can't explain it, but, you know, I just kept thinking, why is this dude the only one being interviewed? What the fuck? And then the credits at the end... So written and produced by John Russo. It was just, oh, well, fucking hell. So this is some kind of vanity project. Like, uh, it wasn't as bad as that Wolfman's Got Nards documentary where that dude just comes up, comes off up his own ass. But, I mean, I'm just like, oh, that was that feeling. This is like a, like a vanity project. God bless you. You want to get your story out there and all that shit and it is a good documentary like if you're into filmmaking especially regional pittsburgh filmmaking it's a little slice of history for that for sure uh i mean if you're a movie buff or if you're a fan of this guy's shit check it out but uh yeah it's just <sighs> he should be at a higher level i think and did you know that he remade or he shot extra shit for Night of the Living Dead and put out a 30th anniversary cut with yeah. like more and more zombies and shit? Uh, <laughs> I have to, to still really like Night of the Living Dead. I, I think it's one of the best uh, zombie flicks out there and it definitely revolutionized uh, that whole zombie genre. Uh, I dig it. It's got that bleak ending and shit, you know. And, uh, yeah, you just like seeing old Ben get shot, you fucking racist. Uh, no, it's still a damn good movie. Uh, but I've never felt the need to get like a criterion version of it or whatever. Shit's public domain, you know, you can watch it any, uh, but it is loved in Pittsburgh. You know, George Romero is loved in Pittsburgh. So, yeah, if you have any kind of connection to that movie, you're some kind of hero or star out there, you know. You're at least amongst the horror people. And, you know, the average Joe ain't going to know who the fuck you are. Probably hadn't even seen Night of the Living Dead, you know. They've heard of it, though, Joe. Sure. They've heard of it. So that's it. My life with the living dead, the story of John Russo, the man who created flesh-eating zombies, exclamation point, coming soon.
check out the Facebook page. And thank you for letting me watch your movie. I appreciate that.